Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for taking the time, Virgo, to come and join me. This is going to be your October reading, so let's see what's going on. October in love, and I already know I'm going to split up the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. We're going to look at both sides here, okay? Um, past, present, and future energy will be the stable energy that stays across the top. And of course, as you guys know, there is an extended Okay, let's see here. Okay. Three of Cups, Virgo. Three of Cups, Celebration, Out and About, Four of Swords. I think I just had another reading that had Four of Swords in the exact same spot. Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it all came out, so we definitely need to take this. But somebody's learning a very, very, very valuable life lesson here. Somebody's needing to apologize so that they can move forward into something blessed and abundant. I feel like there's an ending of some sort that has come about with this Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, see, look, the world card is here, and at the bottom of the deck, there's death and then the moon. So, Virgo, it's the ending of some sort of deception. And this all has to come about because you're supposed to be moving into something blessed and abundant. This is your money looking right, okay? This is new opportunities for money and happiness to come in here. With Pis with this being Pisces, this is Mars, it's going to have to be something that you fight for. There's going to be something where you've got someone else around you that you should not be allowing to mess with whatever this is. Don't, don't let anybody come in here and mess up your money. That's pretty much what I'm feeling, okay? Um, this is a fixed energy, so I don't really see that this is something that you have any control over whatsoever. I, I just, I don't see that. I see that you are going to be put in a state of, you're just tired of dealing with things that are not bringing you peace and happiness. Now, it is what it is, okay? We're going to take a look here at the Divine Feminine Energy real quick. Tell me about the Divine Feminine Energy, please. For my Virgos. Ooh, heartbreak. Emperor. The Hermit. Virgo, look at you. Divine Feminine, what are you doing? Okay, so I feel like Divine Feminine, you know that there's someone around you that has a third party energy. You're dealing with someone who has done things to kind of just get under your skin. This third party, you want it to end. You want your happiness to come in. But someone has done something pretty deceptive here. Okay, I feel like it's also hurt your feelings uh, uh, tremendously. And I also feel like it's causing you to be in an energy of maybe where you want some sort of an apology because you feel it's owed, you feel it's due here with this Ten of Pentacles. Like you put in your work to make things happen. So Divine Feminine is like, this is what I want. This is how it's going to be. Okay, taking action here and stating the facts. Somebody knows that someone has done something outside of the norm here, you know, and this is you, but you still have hope. You still have faith. You still have wishes that you will be stepping into marriage. This is also the divine feminine understanding that the universe is going to take complete control of whatever this is. Okay. And she's like, look, scouts honor. <laughs> you see that for real. And if you ever knew what it was to be a scout when you were younger, this is someone who is of integrity here. If you didn't know what it was to be a scout when you were younger, you might be dealing with this person that takes advantage of many people, you know? This is you, though, after heartbreak and pain, getting it under control and stepping into something beautiful. And this is your new opportunity, by the way, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because anybody that was playing games with you, you know how toxic they really were. You know that this person was betraying you. You know that this person was trying to bring in some sort of... Listen, look at this right here. You see... Some, look, there, there's black magic here. Divine feminine. My Virgo divine feminines. There is black magic here. And it, it caused a whole lot of pain, pain. Excuse me. This deception is a game for somebody. It's a mass control factor. Somebody freaked out here. Um... I'm also picking up on just massive deception with this. Somebody literally trying to get away with something here. 
Mm -hmm. And it's because of their behavior with this Eight of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Spirit stepped in because Spirit didn't like what was going on here and somebody told the truth. Okay, Divine Feminine, there's going to be a whole new beginning here. This is actually going to come to an end and somebody's going to be big mad. And I believe it's going to be this toxic player here that's going to be upset. Right. For some reason, I, I'm picking up on an energy of why they want they want you to be thirsty for them or something like that. And you're not about to do that because you already know that the divine has a path for you. The divine is instructing you in a particular way, especially when it comes to these other people here. Yeah, you've got too many other things that are going on right now. You have too many other people that are relying on you, Divine Feminine, to actually, you know, put in effort to someone who is trying to harm you, okay? But I feel like this is definitely a spiritual warning that if you are dealing with another individual, and it could be an Aries, this person, you know, wants to have their cake and eat it too. This person is going to come in and offer something to you, but this might be, you know, an energy of where someone is already married and they are cheating, okay, Virgo? possibly cheating with you mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what else here this three of cups I, I feel like you might be trying to get back together with somebody too divine feminine you know and you're seeing that it's it's coming to an end I don't know You, okay, so my divine feminines, if you, and we're going to get to our masculines in a second. I told you I had to break you two apart. If my divine feminines, you see that there is someone around you that is getting ready to go through a breakup and they're coming in to offer you a brand new cycle here. But you need to be very strong because this person has hurt you in the past. Okay, now I feel like they are your wish fulfillment, but it could be a greedy energy here there's something that they're not telling the truth about okay they could have gotten back together with another person or they really are only trying to reconcile with you because of the fact that you're just so damn fine <laughs> it is what it is okay yeah they like your status it's kind of what i'm feeling you know because you got things going on you got it going on divine feminine all right tell me about the masculine please Tell me about the divine masculine. Okay, the empress, the five of pentacles, and the hangman. They know that, that you're not playing around with them, divine feminine. Yeah, man, you can't make it up. Look, the hermit at the bottom of the deck again. <laughs> wow, spirit is speaking today, huh? Yes, the star card. So, But here's the difference between the feminine and the masculine here. The masculine is, is looking at this like, hmm, that the masculine energy has a pregnancy on the way. If you're a Virgo male, there's possibly a pregnancy here and somebody is not happy. Somebody was in and out here. This divine feminine could be, t could be can take control of whatever it is that they want and they're doing what they want and telling you what it is they're going to do. They are investing here. There's also something here where you feel that the woman that you care for or the feminine you care for, however this resonates for you, is leaving you out in the cold they're they're moving on from you they're not you know establishing anything with you anymore because there's a break in whatever this is i feel like if you know masculine if you didn't apologize for something here this person really did choose to move on i feel like you're looking at this person's worth you also need to be taking care of your money as well because you have a minor child here that um, could be in some sort of an accident that could bring up some hospital bills here. Yeah, and that might delay you a little bit as you come through this holiday season. I feel spirit is telling you to stay grounded with your finances, masculines. Yeah, they don't want you to be tied up in a situation where you, you know, are constantly having to communicate that you can't do something, you can't reunite, you can't be with other people. Yeah, they said you have you need to protect yourself. See, look, seven of pentacles. And there is drama coming because things are supposed to be moving slow for you, masculines. There is some drama coming and you need to invest wisely and you do need to protect yourself. You know what it feels like when someone has tried to come for you. I feel like with this Aquarius energy, you're very popular right now. 
but being popular is because other people want your ideas okay they want you to communicate how you make your money they want to communicate why things are so good for you but I don't want anybody kind of giving you the stank eye either as to how you are doing financially you know I don't want anybody causing you any sort of drama here with see what I'm saying with your finances boom you can't make it up you know just because they're manifesting some sort of ill there's that seven of swords I told you manifesting some sort of ill will and ending you know because of deception when it comes to the things that they are working on. Now, there's somebody here who is like really in their ego. Definitely in their ego. This is someone here who wants to bring in some sort of lock and key for you. But I feel like you're a pretty free spirit here. My Virgo masculines, you're, you're going to take care of yourself because the universe is telling you that it's okay for you to go within. It's okay for you to, you know, shut down for a little bit. Now, if you want to go in and find and research new things for yourself, that's because the divine is guiding you to do so. And you feel the divine's energy bringing you forward. For some of you guys, you're extremely protected. I don't know what it is. Something to do with turquoise. Something to do with turquoise. And there is something here, yes, that happened to you. Um, and I feel like whatever it was, it's about the motion, okay? You need to be making your decisions even though things aren't moving the way you need them to. There's also a new moon energy that's going to be happening on October 6th, okay? So that's for both of you, yes. And whatever this is on October 6th, manifesting this relationship for yourself is going to be bringing you in abundance, okay? This is celebration. This is opportunity to do something blessed. I'm, I feel like I'm talking to both of you now, you know? <clears throat> If, uh, if this is just, you know, if this is a couple, if this is your other person, your other person, Virgo, if this is just you as a whole, they are delayed. They are delayed. Okay. And I feel like you guys need to be taking care of each other if you choose to be together because there is possible and potential happiness there. Somebody, the Virgo masculine is not telling the truth about the fact that their finances are delayed. There's also a Virgo masculine, I, I swear, is avoiding pregnancy here in the month of October. Yeah, yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, listen, they're telling you to protect yourself, guard yourself. If you are the divine feminine here, do not allow people to come in here and continue to break your heart, okay? You know who is trustworthy. You know, you know what's steady, you know what is secure, you know who's offering you what. Are they offering you a pentacle or are they offering you the D, right? Which, well, this is also new opportunities. That's actually a very successful opportunity with that Ace of Wands. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the Chariot combined together that's new that's new blessings coming in for you this is that ten of cups i just told you about so this is somebody new that you're not going to be expecting i would suggest that you get a really good night's sleep seriously and don't worry about what other people have going on right now because i feel like other people are watching you yes they are watching you this is definitely a social media type of energy here and there's some sort of karma that's going to be coming for a masculine that tried to treat you wrong I definitely see that. Yeah, they're going to watch you step into something blessed and sunshine. Yeah, and they're going to see it too. Give me the energy on this Empress and this Five of Pentacles for this masculine. Masculine, I feel like if you did not sow the proper seeds, your money, yep, I was going to say your money is going to be messed up. You're, you might lose like half your money here. I hate to say that, masculines, but... That's because somebody is messing with you. That's because there's, you know, somebody was only going after the sex. Somebody was not really paying attention to what they should have truly been working on. Somebody's like coming in and saying, oh, this is teamwork effort here, but the divine plan is something different than what you realize. And it's, this has been going on for a while. Yeah. The divine feminine was disrespected here is what I feel. Yep. And so now there's going to be something that happens all over again. And it's because it was manifested with this magician energy. See, look, I told you. Manifesting and the universe heard something. So they may have taken something from you or they told you that it was time to walk away from whatever deceptive energy this is. 
I, this is all like the masculine energy here. I feel like you didn't expect anybody to help you. Okay, masculine. There is someone here who did help you though. And I feel like once you really sit down and, and think about whatever this is, this epiphany comes in and you understand a whole new vibration of why something was lacking here. King of Swords, yeah, it's a new clarity that's going to come through here. Okay. Somebody could be taking somebody to court here for money, especially if this has to do with an unexpected pregnancy. All right. There, there's a very non-emotional energy around this, you know. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Somebody saying, I'm going to take my time. They, they don't return text messages. You know, it's a very childish um, game that someone's playing here because they're planning on leaving. They're planning on leaving the scenario and getting away from whatever this is. OK, now this is. Yeah, they, I don't know. Somebody needs to be paying more attention to their money. And I feel like that's what it is. Someone is going to literally be paying more attention to their finances here. Literally not caring about this divine feminine and the new opportunities that they have. And there's going to be a definite soulmate lesson that's going to be learned here. Okay. You have to learn to take control of yourself, divine feminine. You know, you have to learn not to be so on the defense. You're going to be happy whether or not you, you realize it or not. Tell me about this right here. Tell me about this Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands, please. Three of Swords and Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. It was faded. Whatever this nasty energy was, it was faded to get you to understand who you are as a person. How you come off. What is your true attitude towards this whole situation? Are you in a loving vibration or are you allowing this person to pull and drain you? Okay, unexpectedly, you know, you, you turn into like, a, or they could, you know, they turn into like a very verbally abusive type of person and they just shock you with some of the things that they say, you know, and this is the masculine here. So I don't know, maybe this, this person, if you're a masculine, you need to maybe slow down on some of the things that you're saying as well, you know, because it, it doesn't come off as, as being received very well for some of you. And then if you, you know, have the legal system jumping into the middle of this, yeah, I want you to be, just don't be popping off at the mouth is what I just heard, okay? Or you might be telling somebody not to pop off at the mouth because, you know, integrity, truth, honesty, clarity needs to be understood. You know, for some of these masculines here, they, because their feminine won't let them treat them in a bad way, they might be saying that they want to move on, that they want to separate here, okay? But that's just so that they can drag this out. That's what it feels like. All right, so chariot energy and justice. I mean, it's Libra. You know, it's the Libra season of where are you headed when it comes to this unconditional love? Are you paying more attention to your money? You know, do you need to get away for a little bit? I'm wondering. You know, King of Wands, what action are you going to be taking when it comes to these lovers? You have a fire sign energy that is around you that possibly walked away from you. You love this person and you want them back. Yeah, you do. And and like I said, again, there's a stork right here that's in the background. A lot of this is all about escaping the everyday hustle and bustle and understanding what you need to do. Some of you guys are spying on this person and you're very unhappy because you see that they're still kicking it. They're still doing their thing even though you don't have them in your life anymore you're realizing masculines here that that's a tower moment for you if you have lost this divine feminine you want them to come back you want to hold you you value this person but i just i feel it's still a life lesson that you're having to learn that you didn't give everything you were supposed to give to this empress energy here okay um i i keep hearing the phrase spiritually speaking um, so there's some sort of divine message that wants to come out here. Let's see. That's not it. I'm looking for the deck that I want to use. Here's a good deck. Please remember that there is the Vimeo extended link below. We're going to look at this person and how they're feeling about you. Get a little more in detail. We're going to put the, you two together like as a couple. Okay. And then, or, you know, whatever the situation is for you, it could be money, whatever. Right. Because there's a lot of money here in this other person's energy. You have more love and this person has more money. It's like, it's about something about flavor as well. Like um, the way something tastes, I'm, I'm picking up on. That's something interesting. So the way something tastes, I don't know. Maybe this person is missing you to the point where they're like, they, I don't, I 
mm, okay, and they want to taste you, or they something about the way that you cook, or something like that. I don't know. They want something that you make that just tastes amazing to them. So, whatever it is that you're making, Virgo, oh my, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Anyway, how they feel about you, and I'm guessing they want to taste you, um, <laughs> and the way that their intentions are going to be toward you and any other spiritual messages that are going to be coming through. But as far as, you know, what's going on right now, as far as manifestation, this is the divine feminine needs to be protected at this time. Yes. And then protection is going to be coming when the truth comes out. This is again, faded energy for you to understand the true love and value that is supposed to be coming into your life. This particular person does not need, and, and if it's a masculine, you do not need your finances tampered with at this time. You need to be holding on and not allowing people to come. It could be a Taurus energy that's very stubborn, that wants to create problems and havoc for you. Um, I feel like you know it's going to be wise to leave this person out in the cold, especially if they just won't grow up and they're doing stupid things that are trying to mess you up here. Yes, okay. Animals came out. So what I'm going to stay with that is that animals in this particular case are going to be your spirit guide in this energy of moving through October. You're going to be picking up on the weirdest things like spirits going to keep showing you the same animal over and over again so that you'll go and look it up and realize what the energy behind it actually means. What is the esoteric meaning behind it so you can embrace that particular type of power and you can say Thank you to your spirit guides for showing you the direction you and the path you needed to go in. See what I mean? They're trying to inspire you so that you don't lose your money. So that you don't take somebody back that has been treating you less than what you really deserve here. Okay? And that's how they're going to be protecting you. Some of you already have animals. Maybe some of you guys are going to have animals come into your life that you never expected. And they're going to end up staying with you because they are meant to be your soul protectors here. Especially if it's a cat. See what I'm saying? I just said it. There's a cat right there. If there's some sort of cat that's coming into your life, you may end up keeping this cat. Um, so it's a very interesting energy, but it's going to help you do some sort of transformation. It's going to protect you from negative vibrations here. Okay. Yeah. And it's going to offer, see, I told you, some of you guys are getting a cat. It's going to bring you in uh, blessed, abundant energy. The other thing is, is if you guys aren't getting an animal here, you're going to keep seeing cats. And that is because if there's something that's toxic around you, when you go around this toxic energy, you'll keep seeing cats. It, and that's the, the warning for my Virgos for the month of October. Okay. And yes. See what I'm saying? Spirit is warning you. They're like, we're already telling you this is how it's going to come out. So join me on the Vimeo extended link that's below and we'll get further into this. I've been really tripping off of how these cats just came out. These are the guardians of the heavens. Okay, they can be this particular type of energy is animalistic in nature. So it's going to be hard to deal with very animalistic, very instinctual, very basic when you need to learn to be finding peace. Don't be so severe masculines and divine feminine. This is a new opportunity to love yourself. I love this energy. It's beautiful. Vimeo extended link below. Don't forget Friday Night Love Tarot is where we go live. Peace and elbow grease.